I've made tutorials on using Logic Pro Score Editor to create score sheets with chord charts and how to use its diatonic insert feature to constrain inserts with the pencil tool to selected scale modes. Recently, a subscriber wished to understand how to generate a score with all the necessary details, then save as a PDF and also to print it out. Let's begin with the demo project from my previous tutorial, where I've highlighted the importance of starting each project by adding global details. The global details include the tempo, time, and key signature, as these will be reflected in the score editor. Let me demonstrate. We're now in the key of C major, no sharps or flats. Let's pick G major instead. And now you have an F sharp, which is in the key of G major. Let's alter the time signature for this project, which is now in 4-4. Logic Pro warns us that it will change the project time signature if we allow it. But do we? Let's go with yes. There you go. It's now a project in 3-4. And for a tidy professional look, I shall also select the number of bars per system. Go to Layout, find Global Format, look for Maximum Bars Per Line, and choose the number of bars per line you would like to see. Must add-ons include the title of the piece, ensemble type, composer and arranger names, Chord names, dynamics, and rehearsal markings. I want to clean up the look a bit, make it more finished by adding new styles to the default list. I can do that either by going to layout and selecting text styles. Or I can select the particular label, in this case, the title of the piece, right click, also select text styles. Let's do this via layout text styles. We add a new label slash text style, and we'll call this title because it's going to be applicable to the title of my song. Change its characteristic. I want the uh, Arial Black, regular fine, size 12. Okay, that's done. So now I go to the channel strip event area with the title of the piece selected, and I choose style, title. And there you go. We have changed the text style of my title of the piece of music. Let's create a new text style for composer, arranger, and ensemble type. And let's do it together. We go to layout, text styles, add a new label, name this label as composer, arranger, ensemble, and change its character type. We want, I'm going to just choose this at random. I'll go with Bradley Han, size 10, and leave it at bold. Click OK, close the menu, select Composer, the label, go to the channel strip under Event, Style, select Comp, Arranger, Ensemble, and there you go. Let's do the same with Arranger and Ensemble type. Let's add rehearsal markings. And a capital A it shall be. I want to create a label, a special label for rehearsal markings. So what do I do? I go to layout, textiles, add rehearsal markings, change its character. I'm going to go with Arial, size 12, and box it. 
So now let's pick this character here, our first rehearsal marking A, and select rehearsal markings. And lo and behold, our boxed A for section A of our piece. Finally, we want to pick the double bar lines to complete our score. Here are some extra tips for you. If you'd like two bars instead of four for the first line, just point your cursor at the bar line at the end of bar two, right click, and there you have it, a line break is your choice. Of course, once you've done this, in this case, you can go in there and tidy up if you wish, like what I'm doing here now. You can easily remove this line break, or if you wish this to be a page break instead, you do the same step. And now this is the only content on the one page. And the next content is on your next page. When we're all done and we're ready to share our score, we can export this file as a PDF or print it up. But first we go to View, View Mode, Page View, then to File, Print, Save as PDF or File, Print and select your printer and hit Print. I hope these tips have helped you. Please like and subscribe if you found this video useful. Thanks.